While some have damaged homes, some have been razed, dozens of others remain standing. And this is three months now to the day after a tornado ripped through parts of North Dallas. CBS 11's J.D. Miles is joining us live from one of those neighborhoods to show us why some of these homes are still standing when I guess they shouldn't be. Well, Doug, a lot of it has to do with who your insurer is, but we found a number of homeowners, including this one, who are on the brink of war with their insurance companies, saying they are getting shortchanged on repair costs. Welcome to my happy casa. Woody Mayhew's eyes tell him his home is a total loss. You should get what you pay for. But he says his insurer doesn't see it that way. Well, they say my foundation is still good. And that is the excuse for which they do not call it a total. Mayhew's house, or what's left of it, is still standing on Royal Lane three months after the October tornado because he says it's unrealistic to reconstruct the remains of his home on a 64 year old foundation. And what builder is going to give a warranty after doing that? Well, I think that's a little silly. A little silly. You look at the house and there's not much question what it is, it's a total loss. Mayhew's insurer nationwide did not respond to our calls or messages. No, it's just cold outside so we can get away with it. Leanne LaBarba hasn't had air conditioning in her home for three months because her outdoor unit was hit by a neighbor's roof. She says State Farm is only offering $1,800 to replace a system that she says will cost $15,000. Absolutely ridiculous. It, it, the two numbers do not match. It's a huge disconnect. Her family also says the insurer is only willing to pay for a partial new roof. She and others are refusing to cash checks from them because their claims are far from settled, leaving parts of North Dallas still looking like a disaster area. It's still a war zone. It's just a hot mess. I think it's a game of see how much they can, you know, they can get people to say yes. And we received a statement from State Farm which says in part, quote, we thoroughly investigate the loss, losses range in complexity, level of coordination, and amount of time required to evaluate each claim. Nationwide also told us uh, they don't uh, comment on individual claims by homeowners. In some cases, if they end up in court like this, it's likely that these damaged homes could remain here for months. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.